Hello guys, let's learn common industrial controllers. In this video, first I'll write and test a simple on-off controller for the water tank system which was designed in the previous videos. After that, I'll improve its performance by defining a deadband for the on-off controller. And in the next video, I'll start PID controllers. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content we have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI, and microcontroller based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content I will be posting through the channel. Let's start the video. In the previous video, I showed and test this program to control the water level manually. Now I wanna control it automatically. First, let's add a selector to the control box. I'll use that to select auto and manual modes. Now let's modify the connection settings. I need two new digital inputs for the inserted selector. After that, I'll open the symbols table in Semantic Manager and define two tags for the two new digital inputs, i0.4 and i0.5. Now let's open the main organization block OB1 to start the programming step. Well, if you remember, this part of my program can open and close the field valve manually. Now I want to use this part of my program only when the manual mode is selected. Note that I added this line to turn off the field band when I switch from the manual mode to the auto mode. Now let's write a program for the auto mode. I want to open the field band automatically when the desired level is greater than the current level. So I need to use a comparator in this direction. Remember, the last two networks calculate the current and desired levels in integer format. So I need to use this comparator in a selection. Note that these instructions compare integer numbers. These compare numbers in double integer format. And the last group compares real numbers. 
You can use the help window to see more details about these instructions. Now let's continue the video and write a program for the auto mode. Okay, based on the second network, if the auto mode is selected and the desired level is greater than the current level, the field valve will be opened completely. Otherwise, according to the next line, the field valve will be closed. Now, let's download and test my program. You will see my program has a problem. Well, as you can see, the manual mode is selected. Let's press the start push button to open the field valve. As you see, the start push button doesn't work. Why? Pay attention to the next network. The auto mode is not selected, but this part of my program closed the field valve after the first network. So the start push button cannot open the field valve. Note that I want to execute one of these two programs. To solve my problem, I can put them in two functions. Remember, I've used these two functions in the previous video. Now I want to create two functions as my manual and auto functions for the field map. Well, I've created these two functions, fc1 and fc2. Now let's transfer my manual and auto programs for the field valve to these two functions.
OK, now when the auto mode is not selected, its related program inside this function won't be executed at all. Again, let's download and test my program. As you see, at this time, the manual program is working correctly. Now, let's change the desired level and enable the auto mode. As you can see, the fill valve has opened automatically. And when the water level reaches the desired level, my PLC closes it automatically too. It seems my program is working without any problem. Let's test it again when the discharge valve is open a little. As you can see, when the water level drops, the PLC automatically opens the fill valve. Now let me open the discharge valve completely to see the problem with my simple on off controller. As you can see, because of these fluctuations, my program is constantly turning the fill valve on and off, which may damage the fill valve. Now, let's select the manual mode and close the two valves. Okay, now let me explain the problem with my simple on-off controller inside the auto function and also how I can solve it. Well, this diagram shows the logic of my on-off controller, which is the simplest form of automatic controllers. Now, when the error is negative, in other words, when the liquid level is above the desired level, the fill valve is closed. And when the error is positive, the fill valve is open immediately. As you saw, because of the fluctuations on the liquid level, when the water level reaches the desired level, my program starts to turn on and off the fill valve constantly. To solve this problem, practical on-off controllers usually have a dead band around the set point, like the right diagram. When the measured value lies within this dead band, the controller does nothing. For example, if the fill valve is off, I should open it when the error is larger than 10 cm. And when the fill valve is on, I should close it when the error is less than minus 10 cm. Now, let's modify the program based on the right diagram and then see its performance.
All right, now let's download and test the new program. Well, let's select the auto mode. As you see, the field valve has opened automatically to increase the water level. Now let's open the discharge valve to see the performance of my new on-off controller that has 20 cm as its dead band around the desired level. As you can see, my controller doesn't open and close the field valve with a high frequency and can keep the liquid level at a specific range around the desired level. Now let me open the discharge valve completely. Okay, the new on-off controller with its dead band is working properly. In the next video, I'll start PID controllers which are common in various industries. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching my content. If you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video. If you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.